Tag. <lacht> What is going on everybody? Tommy from Fight Camp here. And today, we're in downtown LA. It's very early in the morning. We're underneath this overpass here and we're shooting some content for Fight Camp trainers for our new apparel line and some additional stuff, just having fun. All right, hey, let's get into it. This location is beautiful. The city of angels, Los Angeles. I'm an LA native, I feel at home here. We're gritty right in the middle of downtown. There's so much hustle and bustle going on. As you can see, we're literally in the middle of the street right now. That's how we live. I'm the first person that will unzip something. I will unzip this jacket and I'll take this shirt off and I'll be running around. Listen, if I could run around naked, I would run around naked, but I'll be put in jail, so I can't do that. How I wash my workout clothes, so I make sure I wash it first, and after I wash it, I hang just I hang dry it. I always use the fabric soap that's for sports. Okay, I always use the one that has um, that gets out all the stink because not every washing detergent will get out that funky fight camp smell that you get when you do a four or six or eight or ten rounder. So you got to use that sport detergent to get that funk out. So after I do that, either I hang my stuff up or if it can go in the dryer I put it in the dryer. Building pockets with shorts is something that I need because when you go in the jogging like I go jog on the sand I do five miles on soft sand and I got my foam and the last thing I want to do is jog with my foam in my hand so I always look for a good short that you can put your foam in the pocket and zip it up if it doesn't your foam will fall out. My favorite color to work out in baby is either blue or red baby because I want you to see me. I just, y'all gotta see me when I'm coming from miles away. And you can only see blue and you can only see red. So them are my two favorite colors. That's gotta have flavor, it gotta have style. I am a professional dancer and everything we do when we get on stage, it's gotta have that, that peppy little pew. That peppy pew means we gotta have that funk. We gotta just, you know, we gotta have that flavor when we put on our stuff. Well, at least I do. I told Jazz that I need a fight camp hoodie because I am the star trainer, okay? That's me being calm. Tommy, relax yourself, Tommy. There's only one star here, okay? What? Yeah, huh? What are you? I am, I, I, I am just, you heard what I said. Why are you the star trainer? Why I'm the star trainer? Boy, look at this face. And look at that face. God damn it, get off of that, get off of that, boy. That thing gonna crack, boy. You better stay on this face. I tell you, that's why. <laughs> yep. Ha, yep. It's going good. We got a sick location. We're uh, in Gotham where they shot Dark Knight Rises. We're boxing in the middle of cars flying by us. We don't care. We're fight camp. All right, so when I'm done with my workout, I don't usually just take my clothes off and jump in the shower. I usually like to go jump in the ocean. It's rejuvenating. Then I take a nice hot shower. You only appreciate it when you deserve it after that cold water. When I look for shorts to work out in, I, I, it's really important that I have pockets, okay? Because I'm always out and about teaching people all over LA. I like to carry my stuff, right? So if you don't have pockets, it's kind of pain in the butt. These shorts are dope. You got pockets, they're lightweight, they're durable. I can teach in these and I can train in them. So when it comes to guys' apparel, I'm kind of nonchalant, but when it comes to women's workout pants, yoga pants, I'm like an expert, okay? So the, 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 so for the last few years at Fight Camp, we've been wearing these white t-shirts that make me look like I'm playing soccer in middle school. And I've been talking to the team like, give me some swag, man, this is ridiculous. So finally, we got some breathable apparel. It's very technical, it's very dope, I love it. I love the shirt especially, it's got some lane. Finally, your boy is gonna look sexy on camera. Let's go. I mean, he's wearing rose-colored glasses, so I feel like I can trust him. And a gold chain, <laughs> well, you know? Flo said that he's the star of Fight Camp. What do you think of that? Flo, you're the star, baby. I'll give it to you. That's fine. <laughs> Before I even answer the question what I look for in workout apparel, the main question is, what type of workouts are we going to be doing? Because that's 
really factors into what you want to be wearing. If you're doing some low impact like yoga, you can wear something really lightweight, freeing. If you're doing something high impact like boxing, you're going to want to be a lot more compact. You want to have that support, that high impact support. What do I like to lounge in after I train? Well, the first thing that I do after I train is I take my clothes off because they are soaking wet. And if your clothes aren't soaking wet, you didn't train hard enough. So I take my clothes off, I hop in the shower, and then I'll put in something really comfortable. Big sweats, big oversized t-shirt. My process for washing my stinky athletic clothes. I am so OCD and I am so anal about how I do laundry, especially my workout clothes. So, this is detailed. So get out a pen, get out a piece of paper. You guys should be taking notes. First of all, I separate all my sweaty athletic wear from my regular clothing. If it's black, I put it on cold. Sports bras get air dried. We have a car coming. Be careful, guys. Woo, both side cars coming. I have a secret tip for you guys. If you ever get that stinky, gross, ammonia smelling, wet, like it smells like a dirty gear bag, you know what I'm talking about? If you ever get that in your workout clothes, A, the way to avoid getting that is don't throw them in your hamper when they're still wet. If you don't have time to wash them right away, which let's be real, we all live live, I just hang my clothes, I hang my sweaty wraps on the drying rack, make sure they're completely dry, then I throw them in the hamper. If they end up getting that disgusting, stinky smell, the secret, are you ready? White rice vinegar. You take white rice vinegar, you put it in a, about a cup of it into your laundry, let it soak for like 20 minutes, and then wash it as usual. Do clothes help motivate me to work out? I have a lot of things that help motivate me, but there are some days, yes, absolutely, my outfit's gonna help motivate me to work out. If I feel like I'm ready to go, like I look cute, sometimes it's all takes, you know? It's all psychological. Look, training is hard, right? It's painful. If you're gonna put in a hard workout, you wanna be in something comfortable. So when I look for training apparel, I always look for something that's gonna make me really comfortable and relaxed. When I lived in Boston, I grew up in Boston, the season changed like crazy there. So I had to have something for every single season. So in the winter, obviously I'm always wearing cold gear and stuff like that, uh, especially when I'm out there running and then the summer I'd be mixing it up. But now out here in Newport Beach, it's summer gear all year long, which is a great thing. Are you shooting straight up? Uh, PJ's blocking that. I'm blocking that. <laughs> what do I look for in the type of clothing that I work out in? Well, it's got to be comfortable. That's probably by far the number one quality for me personally. It's something that's comfortable, something that's breathable. I need to have a fabric that's not going to soak up too much and just keep me drenched and wet. So something that's going to be like a dry fit type of tech is usually at the top of the list for me personally. Again, that's not everybody. I also typically like athletic gear that looks fresh and is dope. You gotta have some style and some swag when you're working out. You know, I love the saying, you look good, you play good. And there's no better feeling than being in the gym knowing that you look good and that that workout is fueling you to be great. So, needless to say, looks, feels, those are some simple things that I look for in my athletic gear when I'm training. I also typically like things that have pockets, you know, pocket guy. I usually have a wallet or a phone or some other things in my pockets, even while I'm training. So I like to have some good pockets on the side, on the back. And then the last thing maybe for me, this is another personal ep. I like having my short shorts. So if the shorts are about five inches long, I can rock them and you know what it is. When you got good legs, don't be afraid to show them out. Oh yeah. Hey guys, this is Rob. Good job, good job. No, I'm not saying that. I'm gonna say that. High five, high five. Wait, high five, high five, high five, high five. <laughs>